Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here with the Motorola Moto E versus the Samsung Galaxy S5 and I want to go over some of the main key specs differences that it is between these two devices. So start off here with the display here, uh, we can already see that the S5, you get a bigger display, uh, you get a 5.1 inch display instead of a, a 4.3 inch display here that you do get on the Moto E device. Uh, the Moto E device though definitely feels premium. Uh, it, I'm very, very shocked how good it did feel. It kind of feels more premium than the S5, I think. The S5 kind of feels like a soap or something uh, when you hold it in the, your hand like this. Uh, it feels like a toy. It's cool that it's waterproof and like dust resistant and those things are like water resistant, not waterproof, but uh, it feels good or if it, that's cool and all. Uh, but still, I don't like the back, like the dotted back. This one feels way better with its um, like matte uh, feeling here on the back, and also the the front side feels more like um, it feels more like glass or something instead of this uh, little bit more plasticky feeling that you do get here on this little toy. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a toy sometimes, and I find that a little bit annoying. Uh, but yeah, if we just go in here again, pop up the all display. And uh, let's just uh, check out some other specs here. So four gigabytes of internal storage here uh, on the uh, Moto E. So that's, that's, that's not a lot of storage. You will be able to only install like one game. Uh, so that could definitely be something that uh, you might not want to have. Uh, it has the stock version of Android though, so, or one of the stock versions. It looks very, very nice, very, very clean, uh, and it's very, very fast. And the phone is running on them. Um, the phone is the cool thing about the phone is what was I thinking about? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a fast phone. Uh, the the colors, of course, is not as punchy as the Android or, or as the AMOLED display here that you do get on the S5, but it's still very very nice for for its price and competitors around the same kind of price range is um, not that good as the the Moto E, and that's definitely something that is cool here. Uh, some other things here is the only a 5 megapixel camera on this one versus a 60 megapixel camera uh, on the S5. Of course, that's a major, 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 major thing, uh, which is making it a little bit boring. Uh, but it has very, very good software here. It doesn't have um, tap to focus or something, which kind of sucks. You can see I don't even get a focus here on the text uh, on the on the S5, which is annoying. Even I mean, we have to. I'm not sure how you get it. I'm not sure why was it really that hard to to insert some kind of focus inside of this one because it sucks. Maybe there's a better app for this, but I think it's just bad. Uh, the camera is really, really bad. I wouldn't buy this to take a lot of pictures with it. Definitely not. Um, because it sucks. Uh, 16 megapixel camera on this one, and of course this one has more internal storage, 16 and 32 gigabytes variance, that's what most people are using. And I mean, here you can see the big, big difference between these two devices, I mean, wow. It's such a big difference. How much you can zoom in, and the detail, and the clarity, all different kinds of quality modes here. Uh, it's just a nice, it's very, very nice. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, the cool thing though is that this one is not even um, this one is not even uh, quad core, uh, but it runs so good on only dual core. Well, but two gigahertz core C7 with Snapdragon 200. I don't know 302 GPU, and I've done some gameplay with it. You can actually play Asphalt 8, which is very very cool. Uh, some other things, of course, with it is that um, I mean Snapdragon 200 here, Snapdragon 801, quad core to 25 gigahertz, Crate 400, then 330. This one is the one if you want to play all the high-end games and of course be able to install all of them made a ton of gameplays on that but this one is a very very good competitor for its price and I don't think most people that buy this one really cares that much about being able to play all the latest high-end games uh, but it's cool that you can play games like Asphalt and I've also tried out GTA Vice City and uh, yeah I mean that's just, it's just a very very nice experience over there uh, it's also a little bit small because it is a 4.3 inch phone so kind of feels nice uh, in the hand. 
and uh, I definitely do enjoy that. I think that is very, very nice. 2,800 milliamp battery versus 1,980 or 1,980 inside of the Moto E. So very, very cool, very, very impressive phone. The Moto E, I really, really do enjoy it. And I might do some uh, benchmark comparisons or game comparison or something if people are interested. Uh, but I find it pretty cool and it's a nice phone. It's a nice buy. And uh, yeah, it's awesome phone. Peace out.